I have a very special and exclusive video for you guys right here, right now, because we were just very recently, yesterday and today, in the Rocky Mountains here in Colorado, and we captured in the wild two prototype trucks. So this is a 241 video for you. First, we have captured the brand new next generation Ford Ranger prototype, or maybe even several prototypes, and then also the next generation Chevy Colorado prototype or GMC Canyon prototype. It's a little bit hard to tell, but we have all this exclusive video to share with you guys right here, right now. So right here behind me, you see a first look at the 2023, what we think is a 2023 Chevy Colorado, and also the upcoming next generation Ford Ranger that Ford has officially already teased and showed in a special video that they published. So let me roll the Ford Ranger prototype video first, then discuss about what we saw and actually what Ford is doing to build the next generation midsize truck. And then I'm gonna roll uh, the unique video that Roman captured of the Colorado prototype and also tell you about the brand new video series that's coming up in just a few days. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff. So let me start by rolling this Ford Ranger video that I got. Looky, looky there. It looks like a brand new next gen Ford Ranger being uncovered. Looks like a regular Ranger. It doesn't look like it's got big tires or, you know, a Raptor version of it, but still, it's pretty interesting. It's like a slow reveal. So this new Ranger is supposed to be riding on an updated platform. It still should be built in Wayne, Michigan. It should share some components with the new Bronco because the Bronco is actually uh, being built at the same place, same factory. I don't think he's about to drive anytime soon, but it's still cool to see a new crew cab Ford Ranger and some other mystery vehicles behind it uh, covered up. Those could be Fords or maybe even Chevys. It is killer having a Bronco with a removable soft top, but you can't enjoy the wind in your hair without hair. Two out of three men experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're only 35. And the best way to keep your hair healthy is to treat it before you lose it. In the past, you had to go visit a doctor in order to get hair loss products. With Keeps, you can visit a licensed doctor online to figure out the best hair loss plan to fit your needs, then get your order shipped directly to your front door. A single order lasts you three months and it's not very expensive to buy. There's hundreds of thousands of guys out there using Keeps and the reviews speak for themselves. If you do want to keep your hair, visit keeps.com slash TFL truck or click the link in the description below for 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TFL truck. Don't let yourself go bald, save your mane. So first of all, as you saw there, there are many different prototypes in the mountains. This includes uh, a Ford Mustang that was there, several GMC and Chevy Tahoe um, SUVs, the GMC Yukon. We also saw uh, a Cadillac Escalade testing. We don't know exactly what's under the hood of those SUVs. It could be a brand new engine, maybe a 2.7 liter turbocharged engine. Uh, but this Ford Ranger was amongst them. So it's possible that there's a third party actually testing some of these trucks or maybe uh, a bunch of different companies like Ford and GM and others are actually in one place at the same time doing their own thing. But here you can see the crew cab Ford Ranger, um, still very similar dimensions to what we see now. Uh, basically a crew cab with a shorter five foot bed. At least this is what it appears to me uh, from these pictures. And Ford actually published a short clip promoting the next gen Ranger just a few days ago. So I can actually show you some of the B-roll that uh, comes directly from Ford. So we know that what we're looking at here is actually a Ford Ranger. Um, also, Ford is working with Volkswagen VW on uh, also a mid-sized truck, so they're collaborating together. Uh, Ford is going to be working with VW both on electric vehicles and also pickup trucks. Um, they're going to be exchanging platforms and some uh, um, components, so this is going to be interesting to see. Maybe the next generation Amarok VW pickup truck will also be using a lot of the Ford Ranger parts, but we're not talking about VW right now. I think this is truly a Ford uh, Ford branded vehicle, just depending on 
uh, based on the lights and the LED signature that we have and also the wheels. So once again, still six lug hubs. So it should have the same capability as now, maybe a little bit higher. The cab looks very similar to what it is now. Maybe it's a little bit larger just by a couple of inches here and there. Uh, what's under the hood? Well, we don't know exactly yet because Ford hasn't disclosed it, but we think, or at least I think that Ford, since uh, this North American version of the Ranger is built here in Michigan at the Wayne facility, that it will share a lot of the powertrains with the current or the new Bronco. I'm talking about the big Bronco. So I'm talking about the 2.3 liter straight four gas uh, engine, which is already in the Ranger. So that engine might continue as a base engine. I'm also hoping that uh, Ford may build a more aggressive version of the Ranger and actually um, maybe a Ranger Raptor. We also have seen Ranger Raptor truck testing in the mountains. This was a while ago, a few months ago. The reason why we think this is a Raptor version of the Ranger is because it has extra width. You could see the fender flares, you can see larger tires, more aggressive tires. Uh, side steps, running boards on the side. Um, it's actually, you know, m quite a bit wider vehicle. So we're thinking this could be the Raptor. So yes, it could be for the overseas markets like Australia and Asia and others in Europe, but it could also be for the US. So we don't know. I, I think the Tremor version of the uh, Ranger may still continue in the next gen. That makes a lot of sense because off-roading is still huge. So this is kind of all we know. And I think the Raptor version, if they build it and bring it here, may have a 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 from the Bronco. So it makes a lot of sense. It already fits in the chassis. Uh, the Bronco and Ranger currently share a lot of the components actually. So the, some of the suspension components and maybe even coil suspension in the back and the front suspension may be shared and utilized for the new Ranger. That would make a lot of sense. We've also seen some of these images uh, with actually the Ford logo printed in the grill. So this suggests maybe this is a Raptor version of the Ranger, which would be a lot of fun. If it was a, you know, a little bit more affordable, then of course the F-150 uh, Raptor that starts at about 64 to 65 grand now. So there's still room underneath it, I believe, for the Range Raptor in this market, especially if it was in about 45 to 50 thousand dollar range for maybe a well optioned one. So that's what we know for the Ranger. This is what, of course, Ford published with a very similar light signature, and we see the Ranger testing all over the world, Australia, Asia probably above uh, the Arctic Circle because they're running it in the snow and the sand and rocks. So yes, this could also be a global platform for Ford. So they will be sharing the same or similar platform across the world. So now uh, I want to introduce you guys to our brand new video series we call For a Few Bucks Less. You may remember several months ago this year we published the To Hell and Back No Payment Needed series where we bought $5,000 trucks. Well, we have the budget to about 2,500 bucks and to, we want to bring to you the very, very affordable four wheel drive little truck series. And here's the trailer for that right now. What is that? Uh, envelope, ends for you, T's for you, and A's for you. Neat. We're calling this new series uh, for a few bucks less. So this is 2,500 bucks. Exactly. Look at it, it's a B4000. Were you living in here for a while? Look at it, it's a 1965 Peugeot 404. And the transmission is still there. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought you bought a Peugeot. Taking that aside, everything pretty much works. Oh, I got him at the line. Come on! That's gonna be the slowest race ever done at this IMI track. But here's what I found in my truck. You found that? It's a bat. It's, it's still leaking. It's a little tiny oh, bit of oil. Oh. Nathan, how do you feel against the mighty V8 right now? So guys, the question now is for a few bucks less, did you get a little less or a lot less? And there's only one way to figure that out. Yeah, so that's coming this Sunday, September 26th. So please come back to TFL Truck YouTube channel right here and also tfltruck.com 
website. We're, we're going to be launching our first episode. It's going to be a premiere. Most of us are going to be also watching it with you in the chat room so we can talk to each other. So please come back and join us for that on Sunday morning. Um, it should be a lot of fun. So now let's um, switch gears and look at this truck, the 2023, we think, upcoming next generation Chevy Colorado. We don't know exactly what the model year would be, but I think it's going to be a 2023. This is the video that Roman captured um, just an hour ago or so. This is hot off the presses. Uh, this, these trucks have been shown in pictures for the last couple months, but I think nobody gotten this close to it and actually showed it. So I think if we listen closely, you, could, you may be able to hear a little bit of an exhaust note. So let's watch the video. Hey guys, it's Roman. I'm doing a little bit of prototype thing up here in the high country. As you know, there's a new Colorado coming and a new GMC. And there you have it right there. Yeah, you saw it first. Let's go see if we can get a little bit of the exhaust note before we, as he pulls away from the uh, stoplight. Get a better look at him. Is this a GMC or is it a Canyon? It's hard to tell. It's got a hitch. So it looks like he's going to be doing a little bit of toe testing. Steelies. Which is pretty cool. And there he goes. <laughs> well, there you have it. Roman actually saw it at a gas station and it was pulling away. It's a little bit loud right there. Um, <laughs> At, by the street, but I think I heard a slight whistle it, as the truck was accelerating. What does this mean? I think they're going to be using a turbocharged engine also. So currently the Ford Ranger is using one. And of course we have other engines and other competitors like the Toyota Tacoma and Jeep Gladiator and others. But I think, and this is the rumor, unofficial still, that GM is going to be using a 2.7 liter straight four, their four cylinder that's also available in the Silverado and Sierra full-size trucks. Uh, the rumor is they're going to be putting it in their next generation midsizer, which will be a lot of excitement because it has currently in the Silverado for 2022, they upgraded its power and torque numbers, 310 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque out of this relatively small four cylinder engine. This could be huge. I don't know if they'll keep the same rating for the smaller truck. They might dial down the power or maybe the torque a little bit, make it a little bit more efficient for this smaller package. We don't know exactly, but the rumor is that the 2.8 liter turbo diesel is going away, that the 3.6 liter gas V6 is going away. Uh, so they're simplifying their powertrains and kind of focusing on maybe one. Uh, maybe electrification will have something to do with this. We don't know. The next Ranger truck may have a hybrid as well. We don't know that. There's no indication to that extent at this time. We also don't have that for the Colorado or GMC Canyon. But this truck we see right here has steelies. It does have a six lug hub, so it should have very competitive payload and towing numbers. This one is actually has a hitch. And actually yesterday when I was in the mountains, we saw one of these prototypes towing a trailer. It was just on the other side of the highway and I, we couldn't actually capture it on camera. We couldn't catch it because it was going the opposite direction in the mountains. We couldn't turn around. So we know where they're doing testing right there on I-70 near Dillon, Colorado on the Ike Gauntlet. This is the same route I-70 that we use for our world's toughest towing test. So yeah, so we can see that they're, of course, very serious, bo both Ford and GM, to bring the best midsize trucks possible for the next generation. What I can see from the cab is that the cab structure, especially the roof and the rear glass, looks kind of similar to what it is now. Uh, there's a sliding window right there in the back. This also appears to be uh, a shorter, maybe a five foot bed, maybe a little bit bigger, uh, attached to this crew cab. So nothing groundbreaking, ground, sh ground shattering here, but I think it makes sense as long as they offer options. Maybe an extended cab with a longer bed, a crew cab with this bed, maybe even a crew cab with a six foot bed like Toyota does. So I think as long as they offer options, um, I think everybody will win. Um, everything else is covered, so we don't know exactly what it will look like. The cab appears a little bit similar, but once again, this is a prototype. So. They may change components when it gets closer to production. The interiors might be very different. There's a rumor that Ford may be putting their 15 and a half 
inch screen into the Ranger. That's the latest rumor. And of course, GM just put a 13.4 inch screen into their Silverado. So the screens are growing, the technology is growing in, this, in these trucks. So there's a lot of excitement here. So the interiors are likely gonna be fully upgraded because it's a competitive market. And all these manufacturers are looking at each other and saying, what are you doing? All right, let's go test trucks together, I guess. So uh, what, is, what are the other people doing? Well, we don't know because we haven't seen really a uh, next generation Tacoma testing. We have seen a little bit more from the GMC Canyon. So we think the next 84 or maybe even 84X more extreme off-road version of the Canyon are coming. We've seen these prototypes also. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, we thought this image behind me was a 2023 Toyota Tacoma, but after further review, I believe this is a Tundra. So uh, we haven't really seen the next gen Tacoma yet. And that tells me that maybe Toyota is gonna be uh, actually introducing the next gen Tacoma maybe a little bit later, maybe 2024. We'll have to wait and see, but the Tundra, the new one is fully unveiled. It has a brand new platform and the Tacoma is rumored to share the same platform because they now have one platform for the whole world. So yeah, that's gonna be exciting news for the next Tacoma, possibly new engines, new transmission, new chassis, new frame, everything. So Tacoma will of course be fighting to maintain its lead in sales. Jeep Gladiator, we don't know much about their updates, but we think they're gonna add a hybrid to the Jeep Gladiator. That's about all we know there. Ram has no midsize truck in the United States. Of course, Honda Ridgeline recently updated their truck, but we don't know exactly what they're thinking for the future. So that's kind of what encapsulates the next gen uh, midsize truck segment. Uh, stay tuned for much more news because this next year will be very, very exciting. Also the Ford Bronco Raptor is coming, as you saw on our website. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on tfltruck.com and tfloffroad.com.